see happen in this time and in this season. And then he said, just tell my people in the month of August to pursue me. Pursue me. We're not pursuing money. We're not pursuing positions. We're pursuing God. And in pursuing God and pursuing his kingdom, as ambassadors of the kingdom, we have a right to some stuff. Are y'all hearing me? As I pursue God and what he's called and assigned me to do in this earth realm, I have access to what he's already created. I have access to what happened because Jesus died. But the good thing is he got up with all power in his hand. And because he got up with all power in his hand, as I pursue God, as I pursue kingdom, guess what? He releases prosperity. Are you hearing me today? And and, and so God said, this is a season in August where I need you to pursue me. And when we think about uh, the, the definition of the word pursue, it means to follow someone or something in order to catch or attack them. That's aggressive. Amen. Some of y'all need to to follow your purpose with an attacking spirit. You know what I mean? Like for years, there have been many who haven't pursued what God has told you to do. Are you hearing me? So God said, pursue me like you were pursuing something you're about to attack. Then the the other part of it is to continue or proceed along a path. So I'm here to tell you today, uh, one of the things, the theme for prophetic convocation coming up is pursuing prophetic legacy. But you can't pursue this thing, hallelujah, if you don't allow God to help you build the thing. Mm -hmm. Some of you have some, some, some destiny and you, and you are like glory carriers but you've been carrying things for everybody else, then now when you look up at your life and you look up at what's supposed to be your legacy, you don't know what it is. So, so we're about to hammer this thing hard. So, so, so God said in the month of August, we're going to teach on pursuing, but, but we're also going to teach on pursuing prophetic destiny. So by the time we get to September, you'll understand what your legacy looks like. Are y'all hearing me? And, and, it's not a, and, and it's not about pursuing prophecy because some people get it mixed up. They be like, oh my goodness, all they talk about is prophecy over there. No, we talk about way more than that. We talk about how can you walk in the destiny of God if you've ignored what God released over your life? Are y'all hearing me? So, so God said, uh, this is a season where I need, to, I need them to pursue me. So now you need to think about what you didn't pursue the last 10 years of your life. When you threw down and threw out the towel when God said to go in a certain direction. Y'all hear me? God said, I've called you to do this, but you said, no, God, I'm not ready. God said, I've assigned you to do this, but you said, no, God, I don't have time. God said, I, I, I want you to be here in this position, but you said, no, something else is more important to me than that. Are you hearing me? All been there, done that. But I'm telling you, get a definition and an understanding of what it means to pursue God in this season. Amen? Because those of us who pursue God in this season, though things are going crazy, let me admit that things are going crazy. How many of y'all got some crazy stuff happening in life? You're like, what in the world? What in the world? But, but here's what I understand. After all the crazy, y'all know it's convocation season for us too, so we just get crazy stuff that happen. But, but what I understand is as I pursue him through this thing, on the other side of it is my victory. So, so, you, so you've got to be, you got to have like bulldog tenacity in the spirit right now to go for what you know you got to go for. Amen. And bulldog tenacity sometimes mean I've got to do some things that I may not want to do until I can do what I want to do. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, some of y'all didn't get that. Skipped right over you. You got it? There's some stuff I don't want to do. 
I'm not going to even tell y'all from the pulpit the stuff that I don't want to do. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. But I'm going to, I, I, I'm committing to pursuing God above my comfort level. Are y'all hearing me? And so, so God says, as you commit to pursue me above your comfort, then you'll walk in my destiny for you. Are y'all hearing me? Rama shekoro. So, so that means you've got to really position yourself. I didn't come to really preach or anything today. I came to break down the word of the Lord today. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, 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 so you got to get a revelation of what pursuing means to you. Because some of you have never seen what pursuit really looks like. I'm talking about divine pursuit. You know how to pursue a job. You know how to pursue money. You, you know how to pursue, pursue positions, family, and all that kind of stuff. But what does it look like when you really pursue God above circumstances, situation? See, for some of y'all, pursuing God meant, Terrence, oh, you got to get in the car and drive to Jacksonville, Florida, so you can really position yourself to pursue him in a new way. Amen? Uh-huh. Some, so, some of you had to say, okay, this isn't working over here. Let me skedaddle somewhere else. So what? I can position myself for what he really wants to pour are you hearing me because some of you are called i'm talking to y'all online too but but i see in the spirit many of you uh some of you many many that you know it's a fine line sometimes y'all hallelujah are called to pour into those behind you but because you haven't allowed god to really pour into you as you pursue him you really don't have anything to pour into those who are supposed to be your legacy. Are y'all hearing me today? Because see, you can't pour what you don't have to give. And if you don't position yourself in the right place for God's glory, oh my goodness, and for his positioning, you can be running around like the children of Israel. That was a mess. expecting manna from heaven every day i've been i've been there and we thank god for manna from heaven every single day are you hearing me y'all been there some of y'all still there hallelujah hallelujah it's okay <laughs> yeah yeah he's my daily bread are you hearing me but 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 sometimes we got to get past the daily bread because guess what i need a constant flow of prosperity are you hearing me i'm i'm, I'm in a season where i don't want to have to cry and pray and say god where's it coming from i want to know that because i pursued him above my circumstances i have a right hallelujah to a flow of prosperity not every day but every year and i have a right to leave an inheritance to my what children's children hallelujah god saying pursue me pursue me pursue me prophetically he's saying pursue me pursue me and so it's up to you to answer the call We in a military town, too. Y'all know what that means. Oh, my goodness. Y'all better learn how to get in position and get in alignment. Hallelujah. So, so God says, I need my children to pursue me past what they don't see. I need my children to pursue me past what they don't even know about how I can manifest. When God takes us from level to level and glory to glory, guess what begins to happen? That means we need another revelation of the next level that he's taking us to. Because in the next level, hallelujah, we can't hang on to the manifestation from another level and the revelation. Are y'all hearing me? Y'all understand that? Because there's another level and there's another level of understanding. So prophetically, what happened uh, in 2 Chronicles 20 and 20, 